I have a confession to make. I haven't really been following my highest excitement. In fact, I haven't even really known that I could follow my highest excitement. Do you know why? Because I believed that life is suffering. I've lived really, really unhappily for probably most of my life in all kinds of ways. But lately, lately I've had this kind of drive. Call it supernatural, call it people forcing me to, or maybe just life putting me exactly where I need to be in order to do this. Your excitement doesn't come out of you unless you act on it. It's action-based. And for the longest time, I always thought that was like hard work or something like that. Um, I think I have like a lot of beliefs and stuff, even myself, that tell me that, yeah, if you wanna live your passion, if you wanna live excitement, it's like you have to put in suffering and hard work. And tonight, I just basically realized that that is totally wrong. I was trying to not do anything until I felt relaxed enough to do something or until I felt passionate about doing something and that was also wrong too. And I finally figured out that you just have to act on it. People say things, they say things like fake it till you make it, right? It's not actually real. Let me break it down for you the way I understand it. You already are your highest excitement. You are. That's what living your life actually is. That's why it works, because it's you. You have favorites, you have preferences, you have things you enjoy particular to you. All those things, all those things are the healthiest possible thing you could possibly do. All those things are what your life is there to act on. But just like everybody else in the world, you had parents, you had siblings, you had teachers, you had a society that lives in a state of total disaster in comparison to living your highest excitement. So we constantly have a reinforcement and we have lots of training that preps us to be able to survive. Now, that is the opposite of following your highest excitement. If you're surviving, you're not actually alive because living works exactly the opposite way. See, survival gives you free time where you can be alive, but living, living gives you a space so that you can still survive. It includes it, almost like it's the free time, right? Like it's the throwaway thing that maybe you'll get to do or something. Your soul, your higher self, doesn't want you to survive. That's not the point. You're here to live. You're here to explore and express yourself for who you are. You're here to experience yourself in never-ending happiness and joy. That's why you're alive. Put this in perspective of work, right? If you have to burden yourself in any way, put in effort to go to a job, to do hard work, to make sure you're doing the right thing, and you have to constantly motivate yourself, that's a lot of work about working on things so that you can work. When you love something, how much work would you do in that, but never call it work? Say you love playing video games, for example, right? Does anyone have to like force you to do it? No. What you love literally creates a life for itself. It takes care of everything. You don't need to actually participate in any kind of hard work. I'm not saying to throw away your life or anything like that. All I'm saying that when you follow what you love, all of a sudden, everything falls into place and you know exactly what to do and how to do it. That kind of stuff takes care of itself. Just like a painter, a painter who loves painting, they're obsessed with it. It like creates 
its own research, out of a desire to understand, out of its own self-interest to be what it is. It builds itself out of that. It creates itself out of all the same qualities that are regarded as being failures of, of the human psyche. Like obsession is a negative, unless that obsession is love. Because when you're in love, you're healthy. When you're in love, you're in your center, you're in your power. But it is obsessive, it's selfish, and yet it brings the highest qualities out of us as human beings. So why wouldn't we just all follow our love? Why? So let me tell you then, you are not who you think you are. You're a lie, a lie that you're telling yourself, a lie that you've been trained to believe since birth. And you've been so meticulously groomed and educated and taught and encouraged to be exactly the opposite of what you naturally are, that you forget that there even is anything else other than that. That's why you have to walk forward, walk forward bit by bit by bit, day by day by day until you start to see the reality that you are your highest excitement. It's just revealing it to yourself. It's just letting it unfold. And the more you act like you're the ultimate version of yourself, just mixed up, twisted up, in some kind of like almost acting lie, the more you'll see it's the truth. There's people and places and resources waiting for you because it exists, because that's who you are. And when you start to act as yourself, you'll start to meet people, people you never even knew existed. You'll start to encounter luck, luck that you never even knew was there because you weren't behaving as if you were the most amazingly exciting person that you possibly could be. It's a truism for every single one of us on the planet, every single one of us. It's just how many of us would be so bold to actually act like we're something we don't look like, we don't act like, we don't live like, how much of us would actually believe it enough? Or maybe even just fake it, just to see what it felt like. So that's my advice to myself, and that's my advice to you. If you want to live your highest excitement, believe me, it wants you. It wants you badly, really, really badly like right from the core of its system, excitement craves you. And that alone should be an exciting thought. But it's not just a thought, it's a reality. It really is the way the universe is built. And you just don't know who you are. You are that exciting thing. You are your own gift to yourself that you are ready to unwrap because you want to. You've just believed a lie about who you are. And when you start to unwrap that present, little by little, peeking in the wrapping paper, you're gonna start to see things about yourself that you can't believe are really the reality and yet totally, totally are. So keep doing it. Keep walking your excitement forward, day by day, moment by moment, whenever you can, as much as you can act on. Believe, believe, without knowing anything at all, believe that you really are already the most incredible version of yourself you possibly could be. You're just living as if that's a lie, but it's actually reversed because it's the truth. And the lie is that you're just ordinary. And that's just how it is. You're actually not capable of being ordinary You've just conditioned yourself in order to live it and believe it, almost like you're an actor on stage. And when you unwrap yourself, all you're gonna find is the most incredibly amazing person that you never even knew could possibly exist. The impossible truth about who you are is the authentic reality of knowing yourself. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what goes wrong. It doesn't matter who disagrees with you. This life belongs to you. It doesn't belong to them. It belongs to you, which means you're already worthy of it.
You are the greatest secret you never even knew existed. And you haven't even heard this message yet. But consider it, because it's real. My name's Summer. If you like these kind of videos, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.